Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Zook and welcome to a brand new video for Formality Gamers. This is different to what we usually do. Usually we stick to our series, you know, you've got Carl's Minecraft Tech It Survival Series or Tech It Madness. You've got my GTA series, a um, bit of Happy Wars gameplays, a bit of Black Ops 2 Zombies. But I wanted to change things up a little bit because in this video, as you can see, we're on Black Ops 2, just regular multiplayer. I've got um, a decent game for you guys. I finished 28 and 3. And I thought it was a decent because I wanted to do this video because I've always been a COD player and I wanted to give you guys my sort of views on Call of Duty as a whole and where I think that it's been improved and progressed over the years and um, yeah. Alright so let's crack on guys. So my first Call of Duty game was Call of Duty 4. I thought that game was absolutely brilliant. I even still play it to this day. I still go on at the odd time here and there because I just think it's absolutely brilliant. It was... The guns in the game are brilliant, I love the maps, um, obviously sniping was a big thing there as well, you know, it's, it's obviously now it's bigger than ever and all the different cards that keep being, um, excuse me, keep being released. So, you know, I thought that game was brilliant. The next game I played, so from here I kind of played every card, you know, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> yeah, from, from that game I kind of played every card. In line. So the next one I played was Call of Duty 5, World at War. Um, honestly, I thought that game was it was all right. It wasn't my kind of cup of tea, if you like. It was um, obviously I know a lot of people like it. I'm not saying that I don't like it. I do. It's just that I don't know. It might have just been the the way it's played. It might not just been my game. However, obviously this is only opinionated, guys. So if you guys love the game, just let me know what you think of it. And, you know, I thought it was brilliant. The only bad thing about it was that the MP40 was insanely overpowered. So, everybody used it. And even I did, because it was just that sort of thing that you knew that you could get a lot of uh, kills with. And, you know, you could have some good games. And, uh, don't get me wrong, I did love uh, World at War as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it for World at War for me. And, obviously, so I'm going to go... So I've already told you that everything's in order from now. So the next one I played was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. I still go on that today quite a lot. Um, way more than I do Call of Duty 4 because I said that I've played that um, from time to time. Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare 2, in my opinion, is probably either the best Call of Duty or the second best. Because my favourite is still kind of COD 4. As you see there's Kyle there showing me a gun. Um, I don't know. I can't remember why that was, but <laughs> as you can see, he's got, oh, I got killed as well. Um, but yeah, so Modern Warfare 2, I thought that was absolutely brilliant. There were some maps I didn't really like. I think it was like Underpass, uh, Derail, I wasn't a big fan of. Um, but overall, I, I used to play that like crazy, you know. I'm not saying I got like 10th prestige or whatever on it, but I used to play it like mad. I just thought it was brilliant. I thought the nuke was a brilliant addition. My nuke count's only like 7 or something, because I got a nuke recently. Um, I know it sounds a bit stupid, but I keep a, um, a little nuke count, I still have to this day. Because I just think that it was one of them things that I really enjoyed to, to get, and obviously a lot of you guys probably did as well. You know, getting nukes and everything. Um, just kind of, you got really excited, and you know, sometimes you started to... Um, get a bit, you know, a bit nerve-wracking if you're like one kill off or something and your chopper gun is gone or your AC-130 is gone or whatever you were using and uh, yeah, it was just one of them things I suppose alright the next one Call of Duty 7 was Call of Duty Black Ops again, that is a, a brilliant game, that was a lot different to World of War which I thought was great <clears throat> you know, I thought it was absolutely it was brilliant um, you know, some of the guns on it were great. I loved a lot of the maps. You know, like Radiation, Nuke Town was great. You know, they used that in, in this game as well, Black Ops 2. You know, I thought, you know, that was a good game as well. Nothing really bad to say about it. Some guns were great, some guns were crap, you know. Obviously, balance has always been an issue in Call of Duty games, but it's something that we all just kind of have to live with. I'm sorry, I'm just giving a, a brief explanation if you guys are wondering why I'm moving from one to another really quickly it's because this video isn't that long and I want to get Call of Duties out of the way in my opinion. Like, you know, my views and everything like that about them. Right, so the next one after that was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I was a little bit disappointed because they had the Moab, okay, and 
that could only be used without kill streaks. Like you could only get that if you had 24 kills with a gun, <clears throat> which I suppose separates the great players from the people who have to rely on kill streaks. If you want to put it in that context, but I don't know. I just kind of enjoyed getting like a Harry or a chopper gun and then a nuke. It was going kind of like one of them things and. Modern Warfare 3 just kind of separated it, and I got I get a little bit bored when I play some of the maps as well. Like um, I can't really name them because I, I can't really remember them. I, I do enjoy it the odd time, and you know what I mean. Carl has some good games on it and everything like that, so it's not you know that sort of issue. It's just that yeah, I don't know really. But overall, I, I do think it's a good game. Quite like it, you know. Right. Now we're going to move on to this game, Black Ops 2. I think this game is insanely good. The only thing I was a little bit disappointed with was that this campaign, and even online, was very futuristic. However, that didn't mean that I didn't like the game. I did, it was just different from Call of Duty, so I had to take a bit of time to get used to it. Some of you guys probably didn't enjoy it as well, some of you guys probably did. It's all opinionated, but to me, you know, I was just kind of a bit shocked how futuristic they actually went. Um, but you, you do, it grows on you, games like this, it really does grow on you, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm getting decent games like this, and if you guys want to see more games like this, just hit me up, let me know. You know if you want to see anything from Kyle on this as well, or if you want to see more zombies, let me know on that as well. Let me and Kyle know, because um, we did enjoy them zombie games. We didn't do fantastically good in them, but I would, um, I'll do some more for you guys if you're interested in that. Right, the next Call of Duty I'm going to talk about for the rest of this video, the remaining period, is Call of Duty Ghosts. That is the latest Call of Duty to stand. It came out last year, so it was the, the yearly Call of Duty release by Infinity Ward. I thought it was going to be Modern Warfare 4, but obviously I heard a, a bit about Ghosts and I didn't really know what it was until I started watching some live streams before it was released. You know, like the race and things like that. And I was really impressed by the by the like by watching it on a live stream. I thought, yeah, you know, this this is brilliant. This is really good. And then I actually got the game and played it. Now, bear in mind, guys, I'm going to be really opinionated here. Okay, this isn't. I'm not saying the game's crap overall. You know, it's only my opinion. I was really disappointed. Okay, because some of the guns are really bad. Um, the maps I don't like either. And it's not. I w you could say it was the player. I, I wouldn't blame you guys for saying that. But I was just overall really disappointed with it, and you know, I don't know. I was hoping it would have been something a bit better than that, to be honest. But sorry, guys, it's been very brief. I just wanted to give an overall explanation to my views on Call of Duty. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, show me by leaving a like, give us a comment, or subscribe to the channel if you want to see a lot more. And apart from that, thank you guys for watching, and I shall see you guys later.